Welcome! In this video, you'll see how to get started with low-code Oracle Apex application development in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, or OCI, from an existing cloud tenancy and account. I'll show Apex running on an instance of Apex Service, which is a specialized version of Oracle Autonomous Database, or ADB, focused on low-code apps and Rust data access. Let's start from the OCI console homepage, where I've signed into a cloud tenancy with a user account that has privileges to create and manage ADB resources within the tenancy. Note that I'm in the tenancy's home data region, and the tenancy's current service limits allow for creation of new Apex Service CPU and storage resources. Here on the homepage, you see the Apex Quick Start. It deploys a new Apex Service instance in a few simple steps and is the fastest way to get started. Let's click on it to proceed. This screen summarizes what's about to occur. As you'll see in a moment, I'll be asked to enter a minimal amount of information for the new Apex Service instance, and then it will be automatically deployed behind the scenes. From there, I'll be able to easily launch into Apex. Let's continue. Okay, first I must pick a compartment where the Apex Service instance will reside. Compartments are OCI's way of grouping cloud resources together for security and ease of management. Users must select a compartment where they have privileges to create and manage ADB resources. I'll go ahead with the default option here, which is the root compartment of my tenancy. Next, I set the admin password for the underlying database that comes with my Apex service. It's important to remember this password because you'll need it later for activities like completing initial one-time Apex workspace configuration, managing instance level Apex settings, or signing into the database directly. Lastly, let's review this checkbox at the bottom. When unchecked, the Quick Start will deploy an Apex Service instance, which is a specialized ADB that supports HTTPS but not SQLNet connections. This works great for Apex app and REST access use cases. In other words, the database's HTTPS interface on its own provides everything needed to build and deploy fully functional low-code Apex apps. However, if you think you might want to use thick Oracle database clients with this service instance at a later time, clients such as BI tools, programming language drivers, and command line utilities, then you can check the box to create a full ADB instance with SQLNet connectivity here. Now let's start the deployment. These progress indicators are displayed for the next few minutes while deployment is executing. When the deployment finishes, my new Apex service instance is ready to go, and I can launch into Apex using the button at the top. Note, it may take a minute to load and display Apex the very first time it is accessed. On first use, I'm prompted to sign into Apex Administration Services using the database admin password that was set previously. Excellent! Now, I'm working within Apex, running an OCI. From here, I'm prompted to complete one-time Apex workspace configuration. Once that's done, I can build and deploy low-code Apex apps. Well, it's that easy to get started using Oracle Apex in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Try it yourself by creating your own Apex service today.